all right guys it's your girl yum yum coming to you live from the spot welcome to yum's world thank you so much for watching now tr second try second try <laughs> second trimester was interesting um i was over the um, morning sickness so that was great that ended and um second try was pretty good obviously you do the the 20 week scan and i did the 20 week scan and it was it was great i mean it was um you know the doctor that i had she was she was great she was pretty chill so she didn't make like a big deal about anything but um i had that scan and everything looked good and so that was exciting um we didn't want to find out what we were gonna have but um so she kind of hinted at us what we were what we were gonna have even though i didn't want to know but <laughs> that's a different story the other thing that i started feeling in my second trimester was i started feeling cramps and this actually ha happened in my second pregnancy as well where i started feeling these cramps in the second pregnancy um, yeah, around six months or so, it started to get pretty intense. But this time, it started to get pretty intense. Well, I don't know if I should call it intense, but it started to get um, somewhat intense right around that 20-week that mark. So I started to feel the contractions. Um, and it was, you know, they were, they were irregular, but they were constant like they're irregular but they're irregular it was weird because i i felt it on you know like on different occasions but it, it, it was happening you know often i later found out that if you have like these intense contractions before you go into labor early in your pregnancy or earlier in your pregnancy then that means you're gonna have a fast labor and i was like yay <laughs> because I really was hoping for a repeat of my second birth experience um, because though I was, I was, you know, I guess in the early stage of labor for a while, for like two days, but active labor was like two hours or no, what am I saying? Two hours. It was super short. Like by the time I got to the hospital, I had the baby like 10 minutes later. Um, so I wanted a repeat of that. And I was just like praying like, Lord, I mean, it's your will. You do what you want to do, Lord. But if I could have that kind of experience, honestly, it'd be great. I had a C-section with the first one, um, natural birth with the second one. So I didn't know, I just didn't know what to expect. So that also um, gave me some, some level of dis-ease or like uneasiness. You know, in my first pregnancy, I tried so hard to control everything um, and it didn't go, that didn't work out for me. <laughs> so this time I'm like, okay, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna try and control everything. I'm just gonna kind of leave it in God's hands. But, but I still obviously, you know, I wanted to have a natural birth. So I didn't know what to expect. So I just tried to, I just had to, every time I felt that uneasiness, you know, I just would, give it back to God and say, Lord, this is your pregnancy. This is your job. This is your doing. Um, help me, help me out. Help me out here. Um, I pray that I have a natural birth, you know, and, and that's, that's what I want. Um, and I just hope that that's how it goes, but I'll leave it in your hands. And, um, yeah, so I mean, second, second trimester honestly wasn't too much of a big deal. One thing that I did during my second trimester also was I read this book called Natural Hospital Birth. Because even though I would have loved to have a home birth, um, I I knew that that just wasn't going to be what was going to happen for this particular birth. So I'm like, okay, we're probably going to do the hospital thing. So, um, but I want to have a, you know, I don't want all the interventions and all that good stuff. So I read this book called Natural Hospital Birth and it was great. Um, so, and that's the other thing is that, you know, when you're pregnant, like you wanna um, get informed about, you know, what's coming, even though obviously you don't know exactly how your birth is gonna go, but you wanna get as informed as possible so that you don't get caught off guard. Um, so reading that book was helpful in that way. 
Um, and it even gave some language on how to how to interact with, you know, the hospital staff and, and all that kind of stuff. Um, so it was it was, you know, helpful just to get you to get you prepared for what you might encounter in a hospital birth. Um, so I did that and I read that I actually read it a couple of times and then, you know, I would read segments of it here and there if, as I need it. Um, but yeah, that, you know, one thing that I would suggest is try to get as informed as get informed as possible, um, about just birth and the birthing experience, even if you've been through it multiple times, cause sometimes you forget <laughs> what it's like and, um, so that was that was really helpful for me and then um you know i would pray together with my husband it's always a good idea as well um okay so i'll come back to you and we'll talk about third trimester all right make sure you subscribe to the channel leave a comment in the comment section and share the video all right bye